Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. Sometime in mid-1930s, countries such as Great Britain and Germany realized that the era of biplane was over. While Britain was still using Gloucester Gladiator early in World War II, it was only in secondary theaters and only until they could be replaced by monoplane fighters. Some other countries such as Soviet Union and especially Italy had different ideas. They still believed that biplanes with their superior maneuverability were useful as a complement to faster monoplanes. Italy in fact introduced a brand new biplane fighter to service as late as 1939. It was Fiat CR42 Falco. This fighter would in fact stay in production all the way until the capitulation of Italy in 1943. One of the factors for such an approach was the success of its predecessor, CR-32, in the Spanish Civil War. The CR-42 Falco was probably the best biplane of World War II. It confronted the British Gladiator in North and East Africa and achieved some success. It produced several aces and the leading ace, not only on CR-42, but of all biplane fighter pilots in World War II, was Mario Vicentini. This ethnic Italian was born in 1913 as a citizen of Austria-Hungary in the town of Porec in modern-day Croatia. When he first applied for the Regia Aeronautica, the Italian Air Force, he failed a medical test, being declared too weak and susceptible. He wasn't discouraged and soon took a civilian pilot course, which then enabled him to join the Air Force as a pilot officer cadet. He volunteered for the Spanish Civil War, where he flew for 10 months with the 16th Grupo Cucaracha. There he scored one victory over an I-16 on 24 August 1938. and another against an I-15 on 5th September the same year. Vizentini was then given a permanent commission in the Regia Aeronautica and he was deployed to East Africa in April 1940, just prior to Italy's declaration of war. This Italian colony soon found itself isolated from Italy, and Vizentini's 412th squadron would face great hardships fighting against British and South African forces. But Lieutenant Vizentini would shine in this theater. He opened his account on 12 June 1940, shooting down a Vickers Wellesley bomber of number 223 squadron. Between 30 June and 1st September, he shot down four more Wellesleys and thus reached the status of an ace, the first Italian pilot of World War II to do so. Vicentini was then transferred to Gura Air Base on 20 September 1940, and within several days he claimed four Blenheim bombers belonging to No. 45 Squadron. Three of the claims can be confirmed by British sources. Things then get a little less certain. 
the 412 squadron records were lost during the days just before the Italian capitulation in East Africa, so Vizentini's victories had to be reconstructed. The next two victories were probably achieved against Gloucester Gladiators over Galabat in the afternoon of 6 November 1940. It is also known that Vizintini participated in several strafing attacks on British airfields. British sources confirmed that tens of aircraft were destroyed in such attacks, but it's not known exactly if Vizintini achieved any strafing kills. What is known is that during the attack on Gaza Regeb on 12 December 1940, the squadron commander Captain Rafi was hit by anti-aircraft fire. He had to make an emergency landing behind enemy lines. Vizintini landed close and after ditching his parachute, he helped his CO aboard. He flew back to the base sitting in his lap. Vizintini continued with success against British bombers. He shot down two more Blenheims on 26 November and 4 December. This was followed by a successful night interception of another Wellesley on 15 December. On 7 February, he was credited with two more victories, probably Wellesley's as well. His final victory number 17 was credited to him on 10 February for fighting against the hurricane flown by South African ace, Flight Lieutenant Ken Driver. In this case, the hurricane pilot was able to return to base although his airplane was seriously damaged and low on fuel. He claimed one of the five Fiat CR-42s he was fighting against when he was separated from his flight. Mario Vizentini was promoted to captain. On 11 February 1941, he led a flight on a patrol over Keren area. The Italians met two hurricanes and after an indecisive combat, his second wingman became disoriented. The more experienced wingman Luigi Baron remained with him and both pilots had to land in the Saberguma plane. Vizentini returned to Masava Air Base, but then took off again to look for his two wingmen. Due to poor visibility, Vizentini's airplane crashed into slopes of Mount Bizen, and he was killed. Vizentini remained the top scorer of Regia Aeronautica for months after his death. Almost all of his victories can be confirmed by Commonwealth records. He is the most successful biplane fighter race of World War II, and even though most of his kills were scored against unescorted bombers, he was fighting in a theater where opportunities to score were few and far between. Vizentini achieved a legendary status in lifetime and posthumously.
Apart from him, the conflict in East Africa produced six more Italian ace pilots, including the already mentioned Luigi Baron with 12 victories. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button. Join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal. Your financial support is needed to keep the channel in business and I am very grateful for all of it. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.